Hi, and welcome to this module on execution control in Q. This is the seventh module in our fundamental series. So please feel free to check out the previous modules if you haven't already. And we know from what we learned in our previous functions module that by default, basic function application in Q provides sequential evaluation of a series of expressions. So basically, if we have a function and we've got three or four expressions, it's going to execute the first one first, the second one second, and so on. So in this module, we'll be looking at how we can achieve non-sequential execution in Q. So we'll be looking at, first of all, signaling errors, and then we'll move on and look at the conditional if, if else, and the extended form of that. And then we'll also look at the vector conditional protected evaluation, and we'll finish up by looking at some other control statements like do and while. Okay, so let's get started. So with execution control, we can execute a statement only when certain criteria are met. And this can be really useful. Um, it's something that's quite common across all programming languages. Um, and in this example here, we're showing how we can do this. So we did touch on this briefly in our second video of our functions module. And um, we've seen how we can use if within our, our Lambda um, architecture. So we've got a very straightforward function here it takes one parameter called input um, now we have an if statement so if um, is always called like this functionally and we've got square brackets where the first parameter here must always return a true or a false um, and then you can execute whatever you want after that so this is saying is my input um, of type 10h um, so we're just using the absolute value of that as well so we don't really care if it's plus or minus whether it's a single um, character or it's a list of characters um, we're just checking if it's character just remember 10h as we, we know over here is character so if it is a string just return early remember we've seen this return early from our functions module um, and then if it's not a character what it's going to do is string the input so it's not going to do this return early it's going to get to this this last execution so if we run that with a variety of different parameters we'll see when it's a string returns as a string. When it's a symbol, it returns as a string. And when it's a, a long, it returns as a string. So that's a very simple example of how we can use our if statement. So before we dive any deeper into the if statement and, and its different forms, um, we just want to point out very briefly um, how we can do signaling of errors in Q. Um, so if we have a function that looks like this, and we're setting up variable a to be 10, B to be a symbol and then we're trying to add a plus b we're going to get a type error because we're not able to add these data types um, that are different so we can't add this long to this symbol um, so obviously type isn't that indicative we see that error a lot if we wanted to raise our own custom error message within our function we could use this signal so we can hop over here to read some more about signal um, and this is how we basically can signal an error and one of the the useful things about it is that we could create our own custom messages so for example here, um, I'm getting an evaluation error like before, but instead of getting type, I'm getting this out of serial send help message, um, which can be useful for logging and providing more details around the, the errors. Um, it's also useful, um, say for example, in this here function, if we wanted to return early um, in that if statement. So say for example, we didn't actually want to re return early when, um, with the input, we wanted to return early with the with an error message if this criteria is met. So if we um, say return early, for example, um, and then we do as we did before. So when we call this with a string, we see we get evaluation error of returning early. And then if that's something other than a string, like a numeric, it's going to execute the last part here. Okay. And just to remember, um, we also have our standard out, which would be just printing the message out and standard error, which is printing the message out. So you see we get the message, but we're still getting the evaluation error to be typed. But if we want the error message itself to change, we could use signal and you see we don't get that um, printed out. We get it in the message itself. So depending on which one you want to do within your logging, um, you might choose standard out, standard error or signal. Okay, so we leave it there for now and um, I'll see you in the next video.